Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit and today we are going to cover the topic which is which is the best intake to study in Canada. Okay, so most of you if who have come to watch this video must be looking out for a particular answer. So I am going to cover up this topic from different uh, point of view, like from a UG point of view, from the PG uh, undergraduate and postgraduate point of view. So stay tuned, you will get a complete information and if you like this video, then uh, subscribe to this channel and if you are short on time, then just hit the like button so that you can watch this video later. So let's begin with today's video. So let's uh, talk about the UG program. So most of the UG program, they start either in September or they start in January. So students who have just uh, cleared their class 12, you, you guys have very short time to apply for September intake. So best intake for you to apply would be January. Why it would be January? Because you need to clear your IELTS, you need to uh, make sure that you have enough funds, you need to uh, open your GIC account, you need to do a lot of stuff. So when you are taking care of so many things at the same time and you are just come out of your board exam, you need some rest and all the preparation needs to be in a proper manner in, to make sure that you get the admission as well as the visa on time so that you can study on campus. So I would recommend that your intake should be either September or January. So if you are targeting September, then you should not waste time after your board exam and start with your IELTS preparation. So if you are planning for your IELTS preparation, we have a lot of videos on our uh, channel which you can watch, which will help you prepare for the exam. We do daily lives. This would be really helpful. Now, if you're planning for January, then you still have got a lot of time and it will be very easy for you to prepare for the whole process. So that's for the UG people. Now let's focus on the PG program. So people who are planning for a postgraduate degree. Now here it got to be a little tricky. Why I'm saying it's going to be a little tricky is because there are three scenarios what I'm going to cover for PG. One is somebody who has just cleared their graduation. Somebody who has a four to five years of work experience. Somebody who has more than eight to 10 years of work experience. So this is something what we need to focus on. So let's start with somebody who has just graduated. So for you, the next intake is very easy to get. Why I'm saying it? Because you, you can apply with your provisional degree. You need to make sure that you have IELTS score which you can do it while you are taking your uh, graduation exams also because IELTS is not that hard to crack if you have the better planning, if you're taking classes and you're making sure that you are well prepared. So if you are at that stage, then you can consult to us and we can plan your journey without any problem. So the next intake, depending upon when your exams are. Generally, the exams are either in uh, June, July, August, September. So the next intake would be uh, September or in January, then in May. Depends upon the availability of program, depend upon what all type of course you want to apply for. So just make sure that that is taken care of. Now let's talk about somebody who have experience so the, the most uh, mostly uh, people with experience or a little bit of gap they are in the dilemma that they want they don't want to leave their job they want to make sure that uh, there's the jobs are going on and they want to do the process side by side so which is completely fine just make sure that your documentation is something which uh, is taken care of you have the pay slips salary slips joining letter relieving letter so all the documentation is quite, quite crucial and uh, you are ready for that program. So SOP writing would be something which is uh, very demanding, which will require a lot of your effort uh, in which we have the expertise so we can help you out uh, sorting out your SOP. So you can consult us. And the last type of profile would be somebody who has eight to 10 years of gap or probably more than that and they want to decide like how we can plan and see 
they can study abroad and how which intake is the best for them so basically people who have that sort of uh, experience they are mostly married they have a lot of gap and that gap needs to be taken care of very nicely because as you must have heard with uh, from a lot of uh, counselors uh, it's quite popular saying that canada do not accept more than more than 5 years of gap so these profiles you have to make sure that you apply to the right college the right program the sop paperwork explanation everything needs to be impeccable so your profile handling would be very very uh, crucial and very sophisticatedly it has to be dealt with immigration so we have that sort of expertise where we can help you in applying to the right university the right course write a very beautiful sob which will make sure that you get your visa without any problem and with ease so please guys if you are looking forward to apply for the next intake then i would suggest you that you should go step by step sorting out the university your ielts the right program uh, your uh, fee your writing your sob so everything has to be nicely packed in a nice manner so that you get your desired result which is your visa so guys uh, thank you for watching this video i hope this video will help you deciding the right intake for you and if you have liked this video then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and watch the videos which we put out for you on regular basis we have lot of experienced counselors and trainers working with us which are highly skilled so you can watch their videos also so subscribe to this channel and we shall see you next time in the next video bye bye